So in this video, we're gonna talk about how to find the y-intercept when you're given a polynomial function in factored form. Super easy. How do you find the y-intercept just in general? All you do is you plug in x equals zero because the y-intercept will always have an x value of zero. So if we're given this polynomial function to find the y-intercept, just plug in zero for all the x's. So we'd have two minus zero here, zero plus one to the power of three there. Then when we simplify all these brackets, oh, sorry, this should be squared there. So when we simplify all these brackets, we'll have five squared, two, one to the power of three. So we'd have negative three times 25, right? Five squared is 25 times two, one to the power of three is just one. Negative three times 25 is negative 75. Negative 75 times two is negative 150. So that there is our y-intercept for this polynomial function. Next example, y is equal to negative x squared times two minus x times x plus one squared. Again, just plug in zero for all the x's. So you'd have zero squared there, two minus zero, and then zero plus one squared. And then notice how this zero is gonna make the whole thing zero. So we know that the y-intercept is zero. The, uh, this polynomial function is gonna go through the origin. So now as a recap of these last three videos that we did, what do we know how to find of a polynomial function that's in factored form? We know how to find its degree, we know how to find its leading coefficient, and we know how to find its y-intercept, what we just went over in this video. In addition to all those, we also can find the x-intercepts pretty easily by making each of these brackets equal to zero. So with all that information, we can now graph it, especially now since we know the degree and leading coefficient, we can also figure out what the end behavior of the polynomial will be. So in the next few videos, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a bunch of polynomials in factored form, and we're going to graph them by going through a series of steps.